Okay, here we go. So this is the, for those that don't know, we're building tabletop arcade machines in our uh, technology and engineering courses. So last year, uh, or a little bit ago, we built tabletop arcade machines, actually they were all wood. Uh, there's kind of a bit of an example, a half finished one here. Um, there's the carcass. It was all beautiful, nice uh, 10 birch ply. This is one that a student did finish that they're going to work on this year. And we we're using a Pandora's box as the brain. And there's the top that they did. And uh, they had some laser, uh, laser graphics in the top, which is cool, a little uh, uh, coating. And then they got to 3D print their nameplate, and that's all under epoxy, which is super awesome. And then we would put that on the CNC uh, router, and we would uh, cut all the holes, and then we pocketed the backsides uh, on the CNC for the joysticks. Awesome project. Uh, it sucked up a lot of plywood, um, so it was a lot of resources. And the, the, the kids enjoyed the project, they enjoyed playing them, and the wood was fun, uh, but it was super labor intensive. So I thought, you know, is there a better way to maybe uh, make one using our 3D printers? And then these were two player machines we made before. So, hey, what do we have to do to make them one player? Use a Raspberry Pi and also use some uh, Bluetooth controllers. So, this is the product that came off the printer, so that's super cool. And there's the Goomba, kind of the art that they're going to put into the tops of themselves. And we've got a couple of pockets there uh, for personalization. Uh, player one, start select, all that's going to be uh, filled with epoxy. And then on the back side, uh, that's all pocketed for the joysticks and all laid out nicely. And I got so excited I had to, I wanted to toss the buttons in. So that's why it's got some of the arcade buttons already installed. Uh, some holes for hinges. So that's great because uh, it's going to attach the carcass through just some nice little um, uh, steel hinges. And uh, yeah, other than that, I think it turned out really nice. Um, issues. So I think right now, because we're going to be using uh, SNES kind of remake controllers to get all the buttons wired to the uh, Raspberry Pi, I think we're going to put in here, you know, A, B, X, Y, you know, left, right. I'm going to put those in the board, and then you're not guessing which buttons do which. And then the other issue I think that I can see with uh, this is the clearance to that button there is going to be really tight. Uh, the carcass is going to have about a quarter inch wall. So it'd be nice if this pod of buttons maybe moved over, you know, maybe a quarter inch. Yeah, maybe a quarter inch would be nice. So I might do that update. But all in all, as a prototype, uh, this is awesome. This worked out really, this worked out really, really great. So, uh, you know, it's about a quarter inch thick. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm going to change some of the settings when we print the, the next one. But as a prototype, this worked out like 95%. So that's super awesome. So there you go. So just a quick update on the MAD tabletop arcade machine which is fun, and uh, the graphics in the board, which is fun, which is the personalizing. And uh, yeah, we'll be back.